New Brighton is transforming into a winter wonderland with something for the whole family to enjoy. The second annual Fire and Ice Festival is happening this Saturday, and our producer, Alante Walker, is out there to find out more about the fun in store this weekend. Hey, Alante. Hey, Heather. Um, yeah, we're freezing for a reason right now, but you know what? In New Brighton this weekend, they're bringing a little bit of the burr, a little bit of the burn for the second annual Fire and Ice Festival. I'm joined by Jerry Testa of the Everest Events Group. Jerry, how you doing? Good. How about yourself? I'm doing pretty well. I'm excited to see what you guys have in store this year. But first and foremost, as I said, this is the second annual event. You guys are uh, raising the ante this year. Tell us uh, how you guys are raising the stakes, making it bigger and better for your second year. Sure. As you mentioned, this is the second annual event. Last year, we had a ton of activities and vendors. This year, even more so. For instance, one of the things we wanted to do for this year was add more events for the kids. You know, bring the kids, get them out of the house on a Saturday afternoon, let them have some fun. So we have a number of things. We have Lathamville, which is the kids' area. We have a petting zoo, pony rides, miniature golf, and a highlight, we have a carnival carousel available for the kids to ride, all at no cost. Uh, we have an iceless skating rink that has a smoke machine and music as well. Uh, we have various events going on for the kids throughout the day. Uh, we have a total of 130 vendors here. Uh, and adults, we haven't forgotten about you either. As you'll see a little bit later, we have an ice bar that will be manned by MLH Distillery. Uh, that will be a popular event. We have musical entertainment going on all day. Uh, we have Ashley Marina, who appeared on uh, America's Got Talent. We have the Lincoln Park performi performers will be performing. We also have the Ambridge High School Steel Drum Band. They're a real treat if you've never seen them. We have a young girl making her solo debut. Uh, she has a terrific voice. We think you'll hear a lot about in her future. Her name is Charlie Book. Uh, we also have Jane West performing all day. Uh, we have the Taylor Sisters performing. And the highlight, the highlight of the show, what will close the show, we have the fire felon. He will perform a fire breathing and a fire dancing show with an aerial component. So there is just tremendous amount of activities, vendors, events. Last year we had about 10,000 people come out. We're expecting the same, if not more. It's going to be a beautiful day. Uh, I personally have ordered up some great weather, so we're looking at 60 degrees, and we're looking for, it's a family event, right? Definitely. So bringing together the people of Beaver County and beyond, a big boom here, you know. So as we mentioned before, uh, there is going to be so much in store, including the ice bar. You know, if you build it, they will come. So we have the folks from MLH Distillery here. We have Melissa, Gianna. We have Santa over there as well. So uh, tell people what you're making this weekend. So we have our Cosmopolitan with our cranberry liqueur, vodka, triple sec, and fresh squeezed lime. We have our hot apple cider spiked with our spice drum. And then we have our black Russian with our coffee liqueur and our vodka. And then we also are gonna have our old fashioned served on a block of ice, garnished with two Luxardo cherries and an orange twist. Looks great. I love an old fashioned, let me tell you. And so you have your orange garnish, uh, and then you have all these different liquors up here as well. But what other drinks will you be serving this weekend? Just those four cocktails, Just those four. yes. Okay. Uh, which one should I try? I'm feeling, I'm feeling the cider. It's very good? Okay, let's try it out. And then while I'm trying this out, tell people what you're most excited for at the Fire and Ice Festival. This is your first year doing it. What are you looking forward to? Uh, we're actually very excited to be a part of it. Um, a little background about MLH Distillery. We opened our distillery in 2018. It's four fathers who actually partnered together to open the business. It's the Myers, Livingston, Hefner, and Hogue. Um, we're very excited to be a part of this. Um, we're hoping for a huge, huge turnout. We can also make um, bourbon and Coke and spiced rum and Coke also in addition to the four cocktails and the spiced apple cider that you have will be served hot. So please come out and see us, we're really excited. Absolutely, cheers to that. All right, so spilling a little bit, but you know what, we gotta run over the main event, feeling the heat with the fire felon. So uh, I gotta know, how do you get into uh, you know, the fire aspect of that, because I feel like it's a little how to train your dragon-esque. Uh, tell me how you got into fire breathing. Well, I mean, my, mankind has kind of always been infatuated with fire a little bit. Even if you look at a candle or a, a campfire or something like that, you're enthralled. And 
that's always been the case for me. It was, uh, as far as throwing it around and stuff, I mean, what's more fun than playing with fire? <laughs> right. So uh, you have to give us a little demonstration. Take it away. Let's see what you got. Oh yeah, enthralled completely, Alante. This is so cool to be able to see, and it sounds like it's going to be such a fun event. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I it's going to be said, great. Like, liar, liar, liar pants on fire. What's happening? That he, he. You know what? I feel. I know you just went uh, to the salon a few days ago. Um, you know, if you need your eyebrows down a little bit, <laughs> then uh, you know you might want to. Oh wow! Grow your eyebrows a little, a little bit. bit, you know, get a little shape up, get, <laughs> get right. it all. It's all here at the Fire and Ice Festival this weekend. It kicks off at 2 on Saturday, so make sure you get down here to downtown New Brighton. Check it out. It looks so much fun. Alante, thank you so much for taking us there and showing us a little behind the scenes. It looks like so much fun. The Fire and Ice Festival is free to the public. We're going to have more information on our website, kdka.com slash talkpittsburgh.